It's Fast Forward, where we take one word four places in three minutes. Today's word is tails. Let's tell some. One, secret sounds. When you think of an animal with a noteworthy tail, chances are you think of the peacock. You might already know that a peacock uses his tail to communicate his desire for sexy times with the ladies, the peahens. But what you might not realize is how he does this. When the peacock waggles his tail part suggestively, he produces very low frequency sounds, well below the threshold for human ears to detect. Birds, however, and some other animals can detect it. And to them, it can be as loud as a passing truck, sometimes reaching over 100 decibels. Which of course leads to some strange flirting situations. Enchanté, mademoiselle. A honk honk. 2. Spinning versus flipping. Nobody seems to know for sure why the reverse side of a coin is called tails, but the familiar phrase, heads or tails, is here to stay. Now, unless you're a machine like the University of Stanford's robot that can flip a coin with perfect precision, your odds of flipping a coin are roughly 50-50. Although, there is technically an advantage to whichever side of the coin is facing up before the flip, so it's really more like 51-49. But what about spinning a coin on the table? Interestingly, the odds are nowhere near as fair. Depending on the coin, it could land tails up up to 80% of the time. What gives? Well, on most coins, the head side uses more metal, making it slightly heavier. This small difference is enough to throw off the spinning balance of the coin in a major way. So don't ever bet on a coin spin. Unless you're the guy betting on tails. 3. Vestigial tails. Sometimes, as a quirk of nature, people are born with tails. Most are small and aren't around for very long. Modern surgery allows for a quick removal. But sometimes a baby is born with a longer tail, complete with nerves and muscles. Which seems strange until you realize that every baby has a temporary tail before they are born. Human embryos all had tails, beginning at about four weeks of gestation. They also have gill slits at roughly the same time. Usually, neither of these features stick around until birth. <sighs> I miss my tail. 4. Doomsday. In mid-June this year, the comet lander Philae woke up from a seven-month hibernation on the surface of the comet 67P. Now that it's awake, we can drill into the surface of the comet and collect data. But this isn't the first time that people have gotten excited about the chemical components of a comet. In 1910, Halley's Comet had a near approach of Earth. A French astronomer claimed that he had detected cyanogen, a poisonous gas in the tail of the comet. He said that the gas would, quote, impregnate the atmosphere and possibly snuff out all life on the planet. Well, the New York Times published this crazy theory, and the panic was widespread enough that people began buying up gas masks and emergency provisions. Some thrifty entrepreneurs got in on the action by selling some anti-comet pills. Many people either locked themselves up tight or had wild comet parties in preparation for the end, which of course never came. Speaking of ending, this has been Tales. Leave a challenge word in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Over and out! <laughs> Enchanté, mademoiselle. Ah, ah, ah.